Albatross Flight, the four phases of dynamic soaring of the wandering albatross. First is windward climb. Second, curve from wind to leeward side. Third is leeward descent. Fourth, reverse turn close to the water's surface. And then back into windward climb where the wind is stronger, 10 or 20 meters above the water. Wind speed is minimal above the water surface where friction is reduced, therefore energy decreases, but increases during the windward climb again. The cycle can be repeated continuously because the energy is consistently being renewed by the wind. Wandering albatrosses can cover thousands of kilometers in this energy efficient manner. They don't even need to flap their wings very often. They have long narrow wings which present less surface resistance in strong winds. And to sum up, albatrosses can cover large distances with high speed at low costs in energy consumption.